Those are Constance Hunter, is KPMG chief economist, who says, forget the doom and gloom. There are some real bright spots in the economy. And Trent Wagner tells us what's the number one thing you need to watch before the close. But first to Constance, headline today was that GDP number. And how do you view it? Good, bad, ugly? So given the fact that we had four major shocks to the economy, we had a strong dollar, we had the oil price fall, we had the port closure, we had severe weather, we still had consumption growing at 2%. Now, that's sure. pretty good because a lot of people couldn't get out of their houses to consume because of the weather. People that got laid off or saw investment fall, that were impacted by the fall in oil prices, they were hurt, but yet we still had this 2% growth. The negative print was actually because we bought more stuff. We imported a huge amount of goods, and that subtracts from GDP. In fact, it subtracted 1.9 percentage points. What keeps you up at night? Because you are an optimist here. You've got the silver lining playbook. Well, I I, I do have a lot of things that I worry about. So one of them is if we see another surge in the dollar. The dollar moved up 20% uh -huh. from the lows, and that's, that's not good for GDP growth um, over the longer term. So if we see another surge in dollar strength, that'll be a problem. Um, if we see an escalation of some of the geopolitical issues that we see going on right now, so the islands in, in the South China sure, Sea, sure. some of the stuff that's happening in the Middle hey, East. Hey, Greece has got a deadline in a week or so. We'll be watching all of that. Constance, thank you so much. Thank you. Constance is with KPMG. All right, Trent Wagner, let me get to you on the floor of the CME, the number one most important thing you are watching right now. Well, Liz, I think there's some short side opportunity in the yen futures contract. We're going to be closing today at 13-year lows in the yen futures. And we have essentially, as of last week, broken out of this big, huge sideways consolidation type trade. We had come down in, uh, enormously from 2012 to 2014. However, the last six months, largely sideways traded. And we had every opportunity list to bounce to the upside during that time. If you really look at what happened over the last six months, we had volatility, large choppiness in the equity markets. We saw the U.S. dollar uh, weaken, albeit the last week or so we've been coming up. But we saw what the euro did when the dollar weakened. The yen was not able to get out of its own way. Now that we've gotten this downside breakout, I think this is the beginning of the next larger wave down in the yen. I think we'll see the futures target the 75 level, which is five full handles away from where we're trading now over the next several weeks. Okay, and as we say thank you to Trent, and I joined David Asman here, the worst session of the day. We were down about 15 points on the S&P, so now down 10. We've come back up just well, a bit. I was bit. watching Stuart Varney early this morning. We had